is discovering and rediscovering pressure cooking. America is falling in love with how you can cook under pressure and cook so quickly and cook with greater flavor. But then what we get hungry for are new recipes. We'll leave it to our own blue jean chef, Meredith Lawrence, to deliver 121 brand new pressure cooking recipes with her signature home cook instructing blend that make us feel like champions in the kitchen. This is an amazing book. We debuted it earlier this month and already over 18,500 ordered and then in this show, add another 1,300 to it. I had the great honor of writing the foreword for this book. And you'll see and be able to read my comments right there as I join Meredith in a little photograph. And I'll tell you why I love this book. And you can read all of what I have to say about it. But don't miss this book, because today is the last day at the advanced order price, shipping out on the 25th of August. Welcome the Blue Jean Chef, everyone, Meredith Lawrence. Thank you. No. Thank you, David. Thanks. You know what, Meredith, while she is definitely, most definitely a trained chef, her passion is home cooking mm -hmm. and teaching home cooking. When we first brought Meredith to UBC, and, I'm, and I write this in the forward, we hired Meredith to come and host a show that would speak to home cooks because you were teaching home cooking out on the West Coast. Weren't Absolutely, you? yes. I was teaching home cooks how to be better in the kitchen and how to be more comfortable in the kitchen. I like to say as comfortable as you'd be in your blue jeans, hence the blue jean chef. So, really, it's about demystifying that whole aura of cooking and just making things easy because, really, Food is love. If you love to make food, then you're giving love away, and that's a beautiful thing. And that is a lovely thing, absolutely, to share with your family and friends. Let me tell you that every recipe in the book is beautiful. The color photographs are incredible. I'll show you the inside of the book shortly. But I'll tell you also, Meredith takes you by the hand. And I say this in my forward. It's like she takes you by the hand into her kitchen and shows you how to pressure cook if you've never pressure cooked before. And if you have pressure cooked, you're going to love the new and inventive twist that she brings to your dinner table. Where do we want to start? You tell me. Well, let's start with this soup okay. because it looks good. You know, this is one of my favorites. This is a chicken tortilla soup. It's, you know, I don't often have leftover tortilla chips, but when I do, or even if I just get a new bag and crumple them up. It's great <laughs> to have this soup over some tortillas. It's delicious. It's easy. You can put the beans in from dry if you want to, or you can use canned beans. But such a great, delicious soup to have, whether it's summertime or if it's winter time. Hey, Mary, I don't think this the soup has glutens in it. Because <laughs> it has corn chips, right? Oh my gosh. But you know, David, when I was uh, writing all these recipes, I really did want to cater to everybody. I wanted something for everybody to be in this. Mm -hmm. You liking that? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> in this book. So I do try to write for the person who's never pressure cooked before, but also for the person who has pressure cooked before. So you'll see I, I put stamps throughout the entire book. This one happens to be a stamp of Blue Jean Chef favorite. So I've marked my favorite recipes in there. So if you're thinking, well, where should I start? Look for that and then start there. But David, there are some recipes here that are marked as super easy. Super easy means, hey, you know what? It's Wednesday, I just got home late from work. I need to put dinner on the table quickly. Go for a super easy dish. And there are over 40 of them in here. Well, let's talk about speed also, because yes. this soup cooks how quickly? Eight minutes. In eight minutes. Yep. How many of you would love to be able to have this a delicious, oh, let's start here. Yes. This is tomato mac. Tomato mac, creamy tomato mac, and I think this is just such a great meal. Now, I don't have kids, but if I did, they'd eat this. And because I think it's great for kids. Look, taste that. That's so simple and easy. That's five minutes. And you put the dry noodles right in that pot with the tomato. You said five minutes? Five minutes. From five, dry noodles. From dry noodles. Five minutes mm. of cooking time. And let me tell you, I think that's just, that's... <laughs> That's, that's comfort food to me. It's lovely. There you mm. go. So mm. that's the kind of thing you can do in a pressure cooker. You just need a little guidance sometimes, and I hope these recipes give you that guidance that you need. We need to talk about this yes, because this is do. crazy. Here you go. I have a great big bowl I for you. I love me some bowls. grits. And if you all have never had grits, don't make a face because if you fill it with enough butter and ham <laughs> and cheese, you're going to be happy you did. Now, grits are something, <clears throat> pardon me, unless you use an instant grit, which is, you know, right. sacrilege. Right. Um, they can take a long time to cook. Well, on yeah, the stove. you have to stand, they have to stir all the time to make sure it doesn't burn. But this, in this pressure cooker, you can do grits in 10 minutes. And that's just put it in, walk away, go have your shower if you're getting no ready. No stirring. No stirring. So Love you it. give your cheddar and ham grits there. There's also a recipe for blueberry and banana oh, polenta wait, for the wait. breakfast. You know, cheddar, it's delicious. Cheddar, ham, grits. Coming your way. Mm. Hold this, please. Oh, we about to bust it out. Happy dance! Happy dance! Happy dance! Happy dance! Get it? Get it? 
Get it, get it, get it. Wow, is that good. I'll have another oh, bite of that. Oh, there you go. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, so a lot, there are breakfast mm. recipes in here. Ham and grits happens to be one of that. But you see, breakfast, sometimes people forget about the pressure cooker for breakfast, but really that can save you a lot of time in the morning or in the evening or, or at lunchtime, maybe, or <coughs> whenever you yeah. want your ham and grits, Mr. Venable. Mm. Mm. Hello. <laughs> but you see, David. <laughs> Dave, if you take a look at the recipe, this one is stamped with that super easy mark because really you just put everything in the cooker, close the lid up, and let it go for 10 minutes. Well, let's talk desserts because life is short. Yes. Eat dessert first. Absolutely. Let's Where talk start? about cheesecake. Now, a lot of us probably didn't think we could do cheesecake in a pressure well, cooker. Well, that's it. The thing is, is that any vessel that can go into the oven can go into a pressure cooker. So all you need is a dish that's the size of your pressure cooker. You can stick it in there. Cheesecake takes 22 minutes. Look at this peanut butter cheesecake. So delicious, <laughs> so impressive, and nobody will mm. think, oh my goodness, that came out of your pressure cooker? Get the man a chair. He needs a chair. <laughs> Hold this for a second. Oh, yes. I need you to come a little closer. Buy this book. <laughs> This book is crazy. I want to show the inside of your book, Marilyn, because, <coughs> pardon me, I know how proud you are of it. Mm -hmm. And I know what it takes to put books together. This is Meredith's third book she's written, yes. which we're thrilled to celebrate with you. Thank you. Look at the gorgeous color photos. I mean, good grief. If that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what does. The photographs are lovely. The methods are easy. Meredith is a home cooking instructor in addition to being a chef. She's going to help you understand how to be very, very proficient with your pressure cooker. And if you're worried that maybe the recipe doesn't really work for the size pressure cooker you have, how do you deal with that? Well, there's a whole section in the front, David, on converting recipes. <laughs> so I tell you how to convert recipes, not just for different sizes of cookers, but how to convert recipes for high altitudes, how to convert recipes from a stovetop or to a stovetop pressure cooker, or how to convert a recipe that you've had your whole life that you love, how to convert that to the pressure cooker. So great section on the inside of the book there on how to convert your recipes. So I've looked after all that because I get a lot of questions on my Blue Jean Chef Facebook page about that. And of course, people are welcome to visit me there to ask questions or go to my YouTube channel where there is a video on the pressure cooking. Forgive my coughing. It's important to chew the food before you swallow. <laughs> well, you, when you and, get excited, um, it's hard. That certainly would help. But I'll tell you, we are very, very busy on our phones. We've taken orders for 5,000 books in this presentation. Wow, thank you. That's 23,500 for the month. Uh huh. Um, and a thousand people on the phone lines. What is this? So this, I'm actually going to give you that, and I'm going to just gloat and look at one there. Oh, I have a spoon. Look at me. Lucky me. So this is called pudding chômeur, and this is a Canadian dessert that's based on maple syrup. And let me tell you, it might not be the prettiest thing to look at right off the bat, but oh my, oh my, it is to me. I cannot wait. Every time, I, I just, I, I'm going to lose oh my, my speech word. here. I know, I know. It's like a maple syrup dumpling. Mm-hmm. That's a really good way to explain it. With a it. buttery mm -hmm. sauce on top. Hello! This to me is one of the best desserts ever. That goes right into the pressure cooker, 18 minutes. Mm. Oh my gosh, oh. and that's, a, that's your childhood, isn't it, Mary? Oh, I love that <coughs> dessert. That is crazy town good. You have to try that one. But take a look at that, yeah. Now, let's talk about Sunday gravy. Let's talk about your Sunday Italian supper. We're talking beautiful homemade sauce, beautiful homemade meatballs, sausage served over pasta, how fast can I do Sunday gravy? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes, and you can have Sunday gravy there. And that makes a whole load of Sunday gravy, let me tell you. <clears throat> so you can do that kind of thing. And, and there's a whole section. Now, this recipe in particular is just the sauce, but there's a whole section in here on pastas. Pastas with clams, if you wanted to. Uh, pastas with um, that, that cheesy, that creamy mac. But look at this, carbonara out of the pressure cooker, no oh, problem. No Dried pasta going in there takes a third of the time, mm -hmm. and you just mm -hmm. get delicious meals. Sunday gravy. Sunday gravy. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. Happy -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> 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 So good. Now, David, can I tempt mm. you with a little chicken and dumplings? Yes, ma'am. Because <clears throat> chicken and dumplings is something you can do in 10 minutes. You can make that beautiful chicken stew and then just pop those dumplings. Now, I don't know what kind of dumplings you were brought up with. Now, I was brought up on rolled dumplings. Rolled dumplings. These are drop dumplings. I was brought up with drop dumplings, right? And I love <clears throat> them. This is so easy to do. You get chicken and dumplings, 10 minutes for that stew. Then you pop the little dumplings on top and boil mm. them away. And that, to me, is such a great homey comfort dish. 
Come here to me. Oh. You sweet thing. Oh, oh I love, I love, I love. <laughs> so, so good. Everyone, the variety in this book is tremendous. You got French dip sandwiches well, in know. this book. The French dip sandwiches I love. Now those 35 minutes and you cook that whole beautiful roast, you slice it down, make the French dip sandwiches. I give you the sauce for the, uh, the horseradish saucing recipe. And David, one of the most requested recipes that I get on my Blue Jean Chef Facebook page are ribs, how to cook ribs. This is a new method that I'm doing now. I steam the ribs over a broth uh, that's very flavorful, dry rub them with sauce. Mm. And then there are three different sauces that I actually make out of the braising liquid and you put it on. This is a cherry chipotle rib sauce. Oh, nice. Right behind there, you're seeing pork chops. Guess how long it takes to cook those pork chops with marmalade glaze? How long? Four minutes. Four minute pork chops Four with a marmalade pork glaze chops. right yep. here. Oh, my word. And then, uh, is this pot roast? That is a pot roast with a spicy cannellini bean. So, uh, you know, you, mm. you have charts all throughout the book. I've made sure to put charts. Oh, right, Meredith, the pot roast is amazing. Right on the back cover, there's a whole chart here on how to cook things, how long it takes. There's more in-depth charts inside the book, but this is a quick reference chart for you on the back cover. So you'll know how to make your own pot roast. This is a version with spicy cannellini beans. I just love it. I think it's great. Also, David, vegetarian. I put an entire section of vegetarian And we recipes. get a lot of requests for that. And we don't ever want to discount anyone who has a particular diet that they're looking to follow. And so you will find vegetarian recipes in the book as well. A healthy number of them as well. So this is going to be nice. Right, there's like over 40 actually uh, total <clears throat> vegetarian recipes. I need to let you know real quickly sure. that we've now taken orders in this show alone over 8,000 books. Well, thank you very much. For the everybody. month, that brings us to 26,500 wow. books. This is one of my favorite ways to make vegetables. There's a whole chapter on vegetables. This is steaming, wow. <laughs> this is steaming the whole head of cauliflower at one time. It takes 12 to 15 minutes. You steam the whole head of cauliflower, then you sprinkle the breadcrumbs and the, the dressing over the top. Down in the front, you're seeing Caribbean pork chili with a pineapple salsa. Well, how are you doing, the pineapple salsa? <laughs> so just, I like to give variety. I wanted to make sure there was something in this book for everybody, the experienced uh, pressure cooker, the new pressure cooker, and just a bunch of different flavors to get you excited so that you're not making the same old things in your pressure cooker. Well, we're excited to be able to share all, all of this with you, including the chocolate tart with the fresh raspberries on top. We have that right here. We are very, very busy on our phone lines, and I do want to remind you as, and you grab a mm -hmm. bite of that because I want to oh, show I the will. book one more time before we wrap up. This book is beautifully done, lovely photographs, great tips and tricks, as only the Blue Jean Chef can share them with you. And look at the gorgeous recipes. There are those pork chops with the orange marmalade glaze. Four minutes serves four people. That's crazy. Look at all these marvelous recipes, and you've got them all. You know you own a pressure cooker. Now you need a new book with some great recipes that are delicious and easy to follow. Mm. They're all delicious under pressure, thanks to the Blue Jean Chef Meredith Lawrence. We're very, very busy on our phones. In fact, now we've taken orders for 10,000 books, Miss mm. Meredith, in this show alone. Thank you very much. 1,400 people still on the lines. And I'll tell you, we are incredibly busy. Today's your last day advance order price. You'll have until end of day today to get this price. Don't miss that. Let me say that again. End of day today, the advance order price ends. This is last day advance order price. Grab your book now while you can. You're a rock star. Mm, thank you. Mwah. Appreciate you. Now, stay on the line for this. We are going to finish up my oatmeal, Miss Meredith. Apple snickerdoodle oatmeal. So let's go ahead and come right over here. We're using our Keurig to dispense some hot water. And remember